Hello, welcome to the Met Office week ahead forecast. We don't talk in hyperbole here at the Met Office, so when we say we are looking at a serious cold spell this week, perhaps the coldest for some years, with a marked wind chill up and down the country, well, that's what we mean. And in combination, we will see some disruptive snowfall. The air on top of the British Isles at the moment comes around this monstrous high over Scandinavia, all the way from Siberia, and it will just get colder and colder over the next few days. This Siberian air over the UK widely is something we don't often see in the country. Now, we've already seen snow showers across eastern parts of Britain as we began the week, but by Tuesday morning, those snow showers will become increasingly organised, five to ten centimetres in a band through, say, the Thames and into Kent, perhaps East Sussex as well, locally 15 centimetres, and another organised area of snowfall there affecting northern England, parts of the Midlands and North Wales, five to ten centimetres. And this is powdery snow. And that means in the easterly wind, it will drift over the hills. It will cause problems, but it will be very variable from place to place in terms of snow amounts because of the showery nature. These are the maximum temperatures Tuesday afternoon. In the wind, it will feel more like minus 5 to minus 10 degrees. More significant snow to come, especially for eastern Scotland and northeast England on Wednesday. The snow piling up 10 to 20 centimetres locally. And for southern parts of Devon and south Cornwall, well, as the winds change direction slightly, we could see the snow start to build up here as well. Fewer snow showers, though, in the southeast. Weather warnings are in force. For all the latest, you can, of course, head to the Met Office website. Again, these are the maximum temperatures on Wednesday, some places staying below freezing through the day. The cold temperatures peak during the middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, sub-zero days, a significant wind chill making it feel well below freezing, and in some places temperatures will drop to minus 10 to minus 15 degrees by night, especially where we have the cold weather. So Wednesday into Thursday, ironically, as we start the meteorological spring, that's when the cold air across the British Isles will peak, significantly cold air, and vulnerable parts of the community will be affected by this. Uh, it is going to be that cold. Now, by the start of Thursday, low pressure to the south will bring in an area of rainfall, but as it pushes into the cold air across southern parts of Britain, by Thursday afternoon, we're likely to see outbreaks of snow. Now, the wind will pick up as well, and for some places, there's the risk of blizzards. Again, weather warnings are in force. Lying snow, potentially across many southern and central parts of Britain, and by the time we end Thursday, the snow heavy at times and it will build up to significant amounts in places. It will push its way north. Further showers to come as well through Thursday into Friday across uh, northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Here's the low pressure, however, and it brings with it milder temperatures, at least high in the sky. But we've still got very cold air down below. And that means that for parts of South Wales and southern England, well, there's the freezing rain risk as rain falls from the sky and freezes onto the ground. So an ice risk for southern Britain as we end the working week. Further snow showers to come, especially for eastern facing coasts and hills of the north. So the end of the week looking potentially very hazardous. Wind and snow across southern areas with a risk of blizzards where the wind really does pick up to above 30 miles an hour at times. Freezing rain a risk later on as milder air tries to get in from the south and we will see less cold air across southern parts of Britain into the weekend. But the cold air lingers in the north and as further snow showers build up across eastern parts of the north through into the weekend, well, some places will be facing 20 to 30 centimetres of lying snow. All sorts going on this week and you can, of course, keep up to date with the forecast and the warnings by heading to the Met Office website by downloading our app and by following us on social media.